When Chapman Billies leave the street and druthy neighbours, neighbours meet, as market days are wee and late and folk begin to tack the gate, while we sit boozing at the nappy and getting foo and unca happy, we think na of the lang scot smiles, the mossy's water slaps and styles that lie between us and our hame, hoar sits o'er sulky, sullen dame. Gathering her brows like gathering storm, nursing her wrath to keep it warm. This truth, Van Donis Tam Ashanter, as he for air a night did canter, all there, whom ne'er a tune surpasses, for honest men and bonny lassies. O oh, Tam, hadst thou but been so wise, as tain thine wife Kate's advice, she told thee will. Thy was a skellum, a blethering, blustering, drunken blellum, that frae November till October, a market day thou was na sober, that ilka meddler with a miller, thou sat as lang as thou had siller, that every nag was called a shoe on, that smith and thee got roaring foo on, that at the Lord's house, even on Sunday, thou drank with cut and jean till Monday. She prophesied that late or soon there would be found deep drooned in doon, or catch with warlocks in the murk by Alloway's old haunted kirk. Ah, gentle dams, it gars me greet to think how many counsel sweet, how many lengthened sage advices the husband for the wife despises. But to her tale, a market night. Tam had got planted on right, fast by an ingle blaze, and finally, where Reman swats that drank divinely, and at his elbow, Suter Johnny, his ancient, trusty, druthy crony. Tam lured him like a very brother. They'd been foo for weeks together. The night drave on with sangs and clatter, and I the ale was growing better. The landlady and Tam grew gracious, with favours secret, sweet and precious. The suitor told his queerest stories. The landlord's laugh was ready chorus. The storm without might rear and rustle. Tam didn't mind a storm a whistle. Care, mad to see a man say happy, he drooned himself among the nappy, as bees flame with lades of treasure. The minutes winged their way with pleasure. Kings may be blessed, but Tam was glorious, or all the ills of life victorious. But pleasures are like poppies spread, ye seize the flower, its bloom is shed, or like the snow falls in the river, a moment white, then melts forever, or like the Borealis race, that flit ere you can point their place, or like the rainbow's lovely form, a vanishing amid the storm. Nay man can tether time nor tide, the hour approaches, Tam one ride. That hour, O oh night's black arch, the key stain, that dreary hour he mounts his beast in, and sick a night he takes the road in, as ne'er poor sinner was abroad in. The wind blew as twould blow its last, the rattling showers roared on the blast, the speedy gleams the darkness swallowed, loud, deep and lang the thunder bellowed. That night a child might understand, the deal had business on his hand. Wheel mounted on his grey mare Meg, a better never lifted leg, Tam scalped on through dub and mire, despising wind and rain and fire, whilst holding fast his good blue bonnet, whilst crooning o'er some old Scot sonnet, whilst glowering round with prudent care, lest bogles catch him unaware. Kirk Alloway was drawing nigh, where ghosts and hoolets nightly cry. By this time he was cross the ford, wore in the snow, the chapman smoored, and past the burks and mickle stain, wore drunken Charlie, breakneck's bane, and through the winds and by the cairn, 
who are hunters find the mother bairn, and near the thorn abound the well where Mungo's mother hanged herself. Before him, Doon pours all his floods, the doubling storm rolls through the woods, the lightning flash from pole to pole, and near, more near, the thunder roll, when, glimmering through the groaning trees, Kirk Alloway seemed in a blaze. Through Ilkabor the beams were glancing, and loud resounding, mirth and dancing, Inspiring bold John Barleycorn, what dangers thou canst make us scorn. We tippany, we fear the evil, we uskibi, we'll face the devil. The swats say reamed in Tammy's noddle, fair play he cared nae deals a bottle. But Maggie stood right sair astonished, till by the heel and hand admonished, she ventured forward on the light and vowed. Tam saw an unca sight, warlocks and witches in a dance. Nay, cotillion brent new frae France, but hornpipes, jigs, strathspeys and reels put life and metal in their heels. A one at bunker in the east, there sat old Nick in shape obese, a towsy tyke, black, grim and large, to gie the music was his charge. He screwed the pipes and gart them skirl, till roof and rafters all the dirl. Coffins stood round like open presses that showed the dead in their last dresses. And by some devilish cantrip slight, each in its cold hand held a light, by which heroic Tam was able to note upon the haley table a murderer's banes and gibbet airns, twa span lang we unchristened bairns, a thief new cut it frae a rape, with his last gasp, his gab did gape, five tomahawks wi blood red rusted, five scimitars wi murder crusted, a garter which a babe had strangled, a knife a father's throat had mangled, whom his ain son no life bereft, the grey hairs yet stack to the heft. Three lawyers' tongues turns inside out, we lies seemed like a beggar's clout. Three priests' hearts, rotten black as muck, lay stinking vile in every nyuck. As Tammy glowered, amazed and curious, the mirth and fun grew fast and furious. The piper loud and louder blew, the dancers quick and quicker flew, they reeled, they set, they crossed, they click it, till Ilka Carl and swat and reek it, and cost her duddies to the wark, and link it at her in her sark. Now, Tam, oh Tam, had they been queens, all plump and strapping in their teens, their sarks instead o' creasy flannin, been snow white, seventeen other linen. Their breeks o' mine, my only pair, their ends were plush o' oh, good blue hair. I would gain them off my hurdies. For a blink o' thee, bonny birdies. But withered bedlams, auld and droll, Ring woody hags would spin a foal, Loupin' and flingin' on a crummock, I wonder it didn't turn thy stomach. But Tam, kent what was what, foo brawly, There was a winsome wench and wally. That night enlisted in the core, Lang after kenned on Carrick shore, For mony a beast to dead she shot, And perished, Money a bonny boat, and shook baith meekle cord and bear, and kept the countryside in fear. Her cutty sarco, paisley harn, that while a lassie she had worn, in longitude, though sorely scanty, it was her best, and she was vaunty. Ah, little ken thy reverend granny, that sark she coughed for her wee nanny. Twa pun Scots, twas all her riches, would ever graced. A dance o' oh, witches. But here my muse, her wing mon cure, Sick flights are far beyond her power, To sing how Nanny leapt and flang, A supple jade she was and strang, And how Tam stood like ain bewitched, And thought his very een enriched, 
Aim Satan glowered, food fudged and fain, and hotched and blew with might and main, till first they caper sin another, Tam, tint his reason, all together, and roars out, Well done, Cutty Sark! And in an instant, all oh, was dark, and scarcely had he Maggie rallied, when out the hellish legion sallied, as bees bezoot wi' angry fike, when plundering herds assail their bike, as open pussy's mortal foes, when pop she starts before their nose, as eager runs the market crowd, when catch the thief resounds aloud, so Maggie runs, the witches follow, with mony an eldritch screech and hollow, ah tam, ah tam, they'll get thy fern, in hell they'll roast ye like a hern. In vain thy Kate awaits thy coming, Kate soon will be a waffle woman. Now do thy speedy utmost, Meg, and win the key stain of the brig. There at them thy tail may toss, a running stream they dare na cross. But ere the key stain could she make, the faint a tail she had to shake. For Nanny, far before the rest, hard upon noble Maggie pressed, and flew at Tam with furious ettle. But little was she Maggie's metal. A spring brought off her master hail, but left behind her ain grey tail. The carlin caught her by the rump and left poor Maggie scarce a stump. Now, for this tale of truth shall read, though man and mother's son take heed, when e'er to drink you are inclined, or cutty sacks run in your mind. Think, ye may buy the joys o'er dear. Remember, Tamashanta's mare.